As many of you are no doubt aware, the Muslim holy month of Ramadan starts on the evening of June 17th, less than a week after this episode airs. Of course, Ramadan is celebrated by Muslims all over the world who pretend that not eating or drinking or having sex all day is good and that they enjoy it. But what about all of us atheists who want to join in all the abstinent fun but lack the nonsensical theological beliefs required? After all, if the Muslims in America ever want to gain broad acceptance, they're going to have to learn how to expand their holidays, commercialize them, and bastardize everything they represent so that they can be more profitable. So, in an effort to reach out to the Muslim community here in America and around the world, I'll be observing a new month-long celebration that I hope can become a secular parallel to this sacred Islamic holiday. Here's how it works. Every day, for the entire month of Ramadan, between sunrise and sunset, I'm going to be sure to do at least one thing that the Prophet Muhammad forbids. Whether that's eating some infidelicious bacon, jerking off, or just teaching a girl math, I'll be spending my days waving my dick at the nonsensical prohibitions that inform the Muslim worldview, and eating a fuck ton of bacon. If you, too, would like to celebrate the new holy month of Haramadan, be sure to post pictures of all the delicious, unclean flesh of swine as often as possible on all your social media outlets. And remember, you have to blaspheme against the declaration of Allah's holy prophet before sunset every day, so if you normally jerk off after work, might be a good time to consider switching to a lunchtime rub. Let's face it, if the Muslims are right, and they're not, but if they were, we're going to be suffering through an eternity of having our skin burned off, so let's make the most of our sinful, hedonistic debauchery this Haramadan season. And remember, the only good thing about rising global numbers of Muslims is more dead pig for the rest of us. And now, back to the babble.